In a report originally released by KTEP, after months of controversy and allegations of harassing the family of a Walmart shooting victim, ABC7 has learned that the Village of Vinton City Council decided they will not reappoint Municipal Judge Roger Rodriguez to the position. ABC7 Sam Harasimowitz reports on the comments that Rodriguez made to the, village, uh, the village's leadership. I'm here in the village of Vinton where we have learned that Municipal Judge Roger Rodriguez has not been reappointed to his role and that position is now vacant. Roger Rodriguez had been in the position of Vinton's municipal judge since 2009, but had been accused of harassing and threatening the family of a Walmart shooting victim, Alexander Hoffman. Hoffman's son, Thomas, testified under oath in court that Rodriguez claimed he was working on behalf of the DA's office. ABC7 received this statement from the village of Vinton that a timeline of events leading to the decision not to reappoint Rodriguez. The village city council decided to not reappoint him back on December 6th of last year, December 17th, the council directed staff to prepare a request for qualifications. Those requests will be considered coming up next week on February 7th. And in a video obtained by ABC7, Rodriguez addressed Vinton City Council back on January 17th and offered this explanation as to why he had not been in the public eye over the recent months. And so I was asked, hey, why didn't you address the community? And I can tell you, and my wife is here as my witness, that I demanded to call a press conference. But I was asked by some of the agencies based out of Washington, D.C., and they said, sir, please don't. Rodriguez did address some of the allegations against him during that public comment, as well as discussing what his relationship is and isn't with former El Paso District Attorney. I'll have those details coming up on ABC 7 at 5. But for now, reporting in Vinton, I'm Sam harris it's ABC 7. ABC 7 has been unable to verify what those agencies are in Washington, D.C. that Rodriguez claimed to have urged him not to hold a public press conference.